Hello and thank you for watching Redbeard Shaves. Today's shave is going to be a software review on Extro from Italy. This is the Isola scent, which to my nose is kind of a barbershop aquatic, if that makes sense. It smells very fresh and clean, like a clean cologne or aquatic, but it has a little bit of a barbery note to it as well. A uh, powdery note. This is made in Italy by Don Donato. And it's kind of hard to get here in the U.S. You can order it from some, a uh, couple of Canadian companies, one of them being top of the chain. I've seen them on some websites in England. This was an uh, order that I picked up, luckily enough, through a group buy we ordered straight from Italy. And with having 10 guys on the group buy, we were able to pick it up at a very reasonable price with the shipping to where not just one person was eating the shipping. I'm using my Rich Man Shaving Brush today with an S1 Innovator Knot. And I'm going to be shaving the dome with my Rockwell 6S with a Bolzano blade. One of the things that I really noticed off of the uh, first lathering I did when I was testing this soap out is especially for a vegan how easy it is to lather and get just this superb rich creamy lather really really easy to lather up has a wonderful sheen has excellent excellent cushion excellent primary slickness and excellent residual slickness. I've actually done a full pass on my head just off of the residual on this. The soap itself comes in a really nice heavy glass jar with a very heavy plastic lid that has the uh, label on it. Waterproof label. Five ounces comes in this. Since we did order from straight from Italy, I was able to get the actual aftershave to go with it. That's what's kind of hard to get here in the US. And if you like long and strong scents, they offer them. Um, their Bay Rum that I used the other day lasted. I was still getting some projection off of it when I woke up the next morning. So pretty good. And strength wise probably one of the slickest soaps I own after testing this out it is really really good Hope you guys have all been having great shaves. I know I was kind of gone all last week. Whew. Last week was just a circus. Picked up a few extra shifts. So that always adds on with the two hour drive on each side of a 12 and a half hour shift. And then we've actually had some people wanting to look at the house, which is good. So keeping the house nice and spotless and ready for viewings and then also getting that family time in. I worked the 4th of July but trying to spend time with family in between uh, as much as possible so I just didn't get to making a video last week. But this extra one I really wanted to get on and get a review because it's a really, really good product. I've really been enjoying using it and I've had quite a few questions regarding it, especially off of like my Instagram posts. So yeah, no problem at all going back over sections with no lather. So this week, I'm back in the saddle, 
going for it again. Get you guys out some videos. In a way, it's kind of nice to take a little break every now and again, recharge the batteries. And getting pretty close to 250, so at 250 we'll be doing a giveaway. Looking forward to that. Thank you guys all for the support. Gets the green pass. I'm not even going to frost the top today. Just going straight in for it. Phenomenal, phenomenal slickness. Been playing around between plate 5 and plate 6 on this Rockwell. And the more I play around with it with different blades and kind of going back and forth, I really think that plate 5 is my sweet spot. So now that I have found the sweet spot on here, I will be doing that Game Changer 0.84 comparison with the Rockwell on plate 5 here very shortly. And you guys will see which one's maybe dethroned or maybe holding the throne. Just really, really impressed with the slickness on this soap. A lot of the artisans out there that are putting out products are all putting out really good products, but every now and again, you just find something special. And I found that with Extro for my skin and for my shave likes and needs. Uh, really, really enjoy the shaves I've been getting with this soap. Okay, do a little rinse off, see how I did. Just a couple of cleanups here. As you can see, just no skip, no hop, just slides right back over the areas that you want to go over off of the residual. I've actually found it to be semi-hard to even get the slickness off once I rinse. Post-shave feel on this is also phenomenal. And the aftershave splashes feel pretty nice too. Okay, that's pretty good there. Cold water rinse. And 
dry off here. Very easy to overload the brush. Uh, it's a very soft soap. Uh, more, it's a crope, but it is uh, on the softer side of a crope. And even with overloading, it's just super easy to lather. So, matching aftershave splash there. It's a good shake. Does have some alcohol in it. But just a really nice, fresh, clean, aquatic scent with a little bit of powdery note in it. Really enjoy this scent. So if you guys are interested in something that uh, might be a little harder to find, I will drop some links down below on where I've been able to find the soap alone and then the soap and the splash. Hope you enjoy this edition of Redbeard Shaves. Remember, giveaway at 250 and uh, Redbeard out. Thank you.